Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nick. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not new here, welcome back. All right, so today we are back with Hannibal. Ugh. Season two, episode eight. I am traumatized. I need therapy. I need a vacation. I just need like one of those men in black, like with the, the little pen light thing, like a memory wipe after the last couple of episodes because the shit has gotten me heated. Still not recovered from episode five. Still not recovered from the betrayal from Alana and uh, Jack is uh, Jack my boy will he's out of jail that's all that matters so yeah oh and then also um, dumbass Chilton is dead but mm, no great loss there before we get into this episode make sure to like comment subscribe and hit the notification button to get notifications for when I upload a new video feel free to check me out on social media I have both Instagram and Twitter and also check me out on patreon you'll get access to exclusive polls to help me pick what I watch next patreon exclusive full-length reactions and full-length audio commentaries and more. Without further ado, let's get into Hannibal Season 2, Episode 8. I get it. Great outdoors. I get the attraction. That's gorgeous. That is absolutely gorgeous. But this shit sitting on top of a frozen lake? What? No. 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 I would not do that at all. I don't care how thick that ice was. No. Absolutely not. Not me. Certainly not I. How do you catch a fish that isn't hungry? You change your tactics. You use live bait, moves, and uh, sights them to action. You, you gotta make him bite. I'm assuming they're talking about Hannibal. Oh, it, ew, it like looked like it was still alive. It's still alive. Oh. That's gross. Please stop. Hannibal, stop. Go, go draw in a coloring book or something. Ugh. Ooh, I like that suit jacket too. Hannibal is like a fashion icon for the ages. Quick summoni oublu. Vegetables and broth served with a hollandaise sauce. My friend made me octopus once and he claims it was just the fish. And maybe it is because he's made me other food that's been good. But let me tell you, eating octopus, never again. That was one of the most nastiest things I've ever put in my mouth. I hope providing the meat doesn't mean you still have a doubt about what I serve at my table. Will looks so handsome now that he's like got his hair cut, washed his face a little bit. You need to move past apologies and forgiveness. Children has many victims besides the dead. We will absorb this experience. It will change us. The bravery that Will has, the fact that he is even sitting in this house, let alone resuming his therapy sessions. In Will, we trust. In Will, we trust. She was lying dead in her stall. Did a fall two days ago? Yeah, was born dead. She hasn't eaten since. What is going on with the horses? Feels like she's still pregnant. Did they check for twins? Oh no. Oh God, what the f did he stuff inside the horse? Like, who does this? Who who does this? Who literally... Uh, Hannibal... Uh, I can't. Well, there's something in here, all right? I bet there is. Ugh. How did I fucking know that he stuffed a body in there? In a horse of all... Did you stop? When an animal is sacrificed, it's presumed the power of the beast will be psychically transported to whoever's offering up the goods. Wait, did Hannibal actually do this one? Or are they introducing like another serial killer? Like a cult serial killer? What's the thinking here? This killer doesn't think like anyone else. We'll have to find someone who doesn't think like anyone else to catch him. Well, is Jack still under the assumption that like, cause you know Jack's a dumbass. So I don't know if he still thinks that Hannibal was responsible for all the murders or if he's just playing along. My next question is like, why is Hannibal still being brought to the crime scenes? Like you would have thought that after everything that happened, even if uh, Jack was still under the, the dumbass assumption that, that it was Chilton and not Hannibal. Like I don't understand given everything that's happened, why they would continue bringing Hannibal, who is not a part of the FBI back. Oh look, Nemo and Dory! That's so cute. Uh, what is this? He's drinking her tears? Drinking tears, that's very Lady Gaga. I'm gonna drink my tears tonight. I'm gonna drink my tears and cry. You're no more at fault for what happened to you than if you had been bitten by a mad dog. Is that? I think she was in Ginger Snaps, but I know her from Freddy vs. Jason, the one that's always wearing the, the baseball hat, who gets uh, killed in the woods, or in the cornfield. That's her. You kids need some assistance? What the fuck do you think? Bad dogs are put down. Is that what you hope to accomplish when you attack your brother? What's your relationship with him now? 
I think he thinks I've calmed down. Is that who had the tear thing in the beginning? I could have murdered someone this morning and you can't say a word. But if I'm planning to commit a murder... I'm ethically obliged to take action to prevent that murder. She's dressed like she's on her way to her first day at Miss Robichaud's Academy. <laughs> oh, is this what I think it is? <sighs> yes, it is. I do not support this at all. I'm fine. I just, uh threw up in my mouth a little bit. I would change many things, but not that we ended up here. I would change it because I don't like this shit. The only thing stranger than finding a woman inside a horse <laughs> is seeing you back in therapy with Will Graham. I mean, she's got a point. You know why Will tried to kill me? It wasn't to avenge Beverly Katz's death. It was to prevent yours. He was protecting you in the only way he felt he had left to him. Yeah, so you better feel extra guilty right now for what you're doing right now. Keep playing in his little chest hair. You should feel guilt. Her name is Sarah Kraber. Sarah Connor? Shark fetuses cannibalize each other in utero, and chances are very good everybody in this room absorbed a twin. Mine survived. Did I absorb a twin? Well, where are all the fucking benefits that come from that? Oh! What is that? What is that? What is that? Should be able to figure out where it came from. What is it? She has a heartbeat. What? She has a heartbeat. What the f how? Something's beating. This is just too fucking much. You broke me down. I feel like shit. I look stupid. Ew. I literally have my dinner cooking in the, the fucking oven right now. Why did I choose to put this on right before dinner? Why? What is that? A crow or a raven? He put her inside of a horse and then a bird inside of her? Is there something in the bird? I took your life and try to give it back to you. I find the womb and place you inside. Y'all, over there in the writer's room of Hannibal, y'all need to be checked out. We need to weed out who the f comes up with these ideas, because this ain't right. Hey right, guys, enough for y'all. Enough for y'all, I'm sick of y'all. It's a coffin birth. Decomposition builds up gases inside the putrefying body, which force the dead fetus out of its mother's corpse. Really more of a prolapse than a birth. Ugh, prolapse. <laughs> <laughs> Don't Google that. Don't Google that. He works here, or maybe used to work here. He has medical knowledge of animals, but he's not a veterinarian. He considers himself a healer. Yeah, y'all are gonna need to go inside to the main house and be like, I need a list of all your current and past employees. Start there. Look at me. I'm like an FBI agent. <laughs> Where the f are they at that there's dogs, there's monkeys, what? There's a skunk? Sarah Kraber, body was recently found, unusual circumstances. I know, I know, I heard. There was a bird in her chest, you heard about that? With a bird alive? Oh, this one's mega sus. How well did you know Sarah? I didn't know her. Would you mind looking at a photograph? I know she is, I, I didn't, didn't know her. Assuming that he's not the one that's behind this, the fact that like his main focus was like, who's taking care of the bird? That's kind of sweet. Mm. I look to be sure. You need to look at that photo, because if you don't cooperate, you're going to end up in fucking prison. Because when it comes to the, uh, the FBI in this show, like, <laughs> you, they'll just throw your ass in jail. Did you get your head injury when you're working at the stables, Peter? Yeah, I was kicked kick by a horse. Yeah, that's an atypical motor response. It's aggravated by stress, right? Are you feeling under stress? I mean, I think I would be under stress, even if I didn't do anything wrong, the second that people knock on my door. Hi, we're from the FBI. Like, <laughs> oh no. You know how everybody has their own personally assigned FBI agent? I'm like, that, he showed up for me, finally. It took him long enough. How does it feel consulting again with Jack Crawford and the FBI? Last time it nearly destroyed you. The last time you nearly destroyed me. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, that is correct. After everything that has happened, will you still Stop believe? Right there. You may have to pretend, but I don't. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, so he's not hiding the fact that he still thinks that it's Hannibal. He Like, he's saying this straight to his face. Interesting. I don't know where the f*** they're gonna go with that. But I prefer sins of omission to outright lies. Don't lie to me. Will you return the courtesy? Ooh, I was not expecting him to say- Like, I feel like him saying that is a little bit of an omission. Or not an omission. It's a little bit of, like... You're correct. I am the killer. I need to know if you're going to try to kill me again, Will. I don't want to kill you anymore, Dr. Not now that I finally find you interesting. Uh, I don't know how Hannibal's gonna take that. He's either gonna be offended or he's gonna get a boner. I think he's gay. <laughs> I owe you an apology. You don't owe me anything. Well, no, he kind of does. Every single person on that task force owes you an apology. Found her empty grave and 15 others that are not so empty. 
Peter Bernardone knew about Sarah Craver's grave and he knew about all the others. Is this Hannibal or is this somebody else? Because at this point, y'all y'all need to like alert the public that there's like tri-state area or wherever they're located. It's just fucking overrun with serial killers. Like they just found 15 bodies. They've already forgiven him. Talk shows and self-help books. They thrive on this sort of thing. Ugh. Her look, her look. I mean, I just can't get over the show and then the looks that they give everybody. The red turtleneck with the red lipstick to match. Ah! How does it make you feel? Angry. If you really want to kill your brother, Margo, wait until you can get away with it. Hannibal! Find someone to do it for you. Ah, oh, Hannibal. I hate so much about the things that you choose to be. Worst therapist ever. I, I di didn't kill, kill him. I, I know that, but it's not always relevant. In this universe, unfortunately, that is correct. At some point, almost every society believed birds carried our souls to the afterlife. Now they just carry bird flu. I just wanted something beautiful for her. You were grieving her. You couldn't save her, but you could bring poetry to her death. So he didn't kill her, but he is the one that stuffed her in the horse? Do you have a shadow, Peter? Someone only you can see. He's someone you considered a friend. His dark passenger. Peter's had persistent cognitive problems. Confusion, paranoia, rage. Who the f is Peter? I hate to say it. I hope I don't sound ridiculous. I don't know who this man is. Peter Bernadone has accused me of killing 16 women. How does that make you feel? Right now, I'm feeling inconvenienced. I'm being detained on the word of one very damaged individual. So wait a minute. So he wasn't referring to like a dark version of himself, like the dark passenger. He was referring to this man. But also, yeah, if somebody says, to you, oh, you don't feel upset about what's happening? Oh, I feel inconvenienced that I was just accused of murdering 15, 16 women. Inconvenience? <laughs> Red fucking flag. Did you know Sarah Craver? Peter talked about her extensively, though, during our house visits. I'd say he was obsessed with her. Do you think Peter Bernadone is capable of murder? Oh, Peter's the the horse kick guy. Yes. Why did you become a social worker? Society needs caring people. It also needs a few psychopaths to keep the rest of us on our toes. We really don't need that. There's no evidence I did this. If you'd like to know how I feel, I feel like I don't want to be here anymore. If you're not detaining me, I'd like to be on my way now. Yeah, okay, so he's handsome and he's got a very, very charming smile and face, just like they say that Ted Bundy did. Although I've seen pictures of Ted Bundy and I don't get what other people are saying. She's nothing like that. She's nothing of the sort. But in a movie, they should make him play Ted Bundy because he could pull it off. He's in a position of trust and he has betrayed that trust. And I know what it's like to point at a killer and have no one listen. You pointed in the wrong direction. Can we get to the, the, the Jack and Hannibal fight and let's just tell me that Jack gets iced. What? What's, what's with the, the shaking? Oh no. He killed another, uh, I don't know. Is, is this Peter guy killing him or the Bundy guy? Like what the f What have you done, Peter? <laughs> I'm worried about you been expressing a lot of rage recently. <laughs> Don't like that. Sarah was a bitter reminder of everything you'll ever have. And this is the very horse who kicked you in the head. He did, 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 did mean to. Is he trying to frame him for this? Don't frame him, that poor guy. You killed them because uh, you, you weren't worthy of them. You killed him. If I'd killed them, it would be because they were worthy of me. Oh, he, the way that he does all of this with a smile on his face. You look like a man who suffered an irrevocable loss. You fucking think? Peter Benadone lies in the same darkness that holds you. No. I'm alone in that darkness. You are not alone, honey, because I am right there. I wanna love you. Okay, so wait, did he actually stuff that woman inside the horse? The Bundy guy killed the other woman. He stuffed him in the horse. Now who is he stuffing in the horse? Is he stuffing the Bundy guy in there? Is your social worker in that horse? Yes. Uh, well. All right. I used to have a horrible fear of, of hurting anything. Yep, get over that. I'm confused. I don't. Uh, who killed the social worker? I think think he deserves to die. But you didn't deserve to kill him, Peter. Oh, so he killed him out of like anger. Okay, well, I'm, I'm not necessarily on board with him like stuffing these people inside of horses. But then again, I've never really been like you know struck in the head by a horse, so I'm really not sure what that whole <laughs> life is like. What was done to you was cruelty for cruelty's sake. I think I hate him. I envy you your hate. 
Oh, I thought he said, I think I ate him. And I'm like, why do people keep eating people? I didn't kill him. What? I thought he said he did. I don't, I don't understand what it's like to, to suffocate and to experience the death that he, that he created. Wait, what? Oh wait, is he still alive inside the horse? Yes. No, that is gnarly. Oh. How was he even able to breathe? Officer, I'm the victim here. Hardly. Nice try, Jan. I'm not an officer. I'm Peter's friend. Peter's confused. Is he gonna shoot him? I'm not. Pick up the handle. <gasps> Will, pick it up. I understand where you're coming from, Will, but no. It won't feel like killing me. It doesn't have to. If you're going to do this, Will, you have to do it for yourself. This is not the reckoning you promised yourself. Will has got murder on the mind. <laughs> Oh, he was literally about to kill him. What did he do? He stuck his finger in like the little... Trigger? No. The thing on the gun that you pull back? Oh my God. <laughs> I could never entirely predict that. I can feed the caterpillar. I can whisper through the chrysalis. Follow us as all nature and this beyond me. Oh, look at him. Look at him. Oh, you know that his pants were getting tight. All right, so that was season two, episode eight of Hannibal. Solid episode. So it was disgusting, that shit with the horses. I mean, I gotta give credit where credit is due. They, it's like they just reached into the dark trenches of their minds and came up with just, it's like consecutively week after week, just when you think that like, you're like, I've seen everything. You haven't, you've not seen anything. Cause like, this is what, we're uh, eight, eight episodes in season two. There's still the rest of season two. There's season three. I heard, I saw a thing on Twitter saying that the, the maker of the show was like, mm, I might potentially revisit the show again in the future. So ooh, fingers crossed. Well, I don't know about, well, my, my therapy bills aren't crossing their fingers point of trying to make but yeah they just keep outdoing themselves with the gross shit but at least i feel like i got a somewhat of a you know a, a little bit of a break from the emotional turmoil and the betrayal because like the the gross and the betrayal together that's where i'm just like it's a lot but uh, mm, 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 whatever but yeah that end scene that's that's that was pretty gay <laughs> that was pretty gay I wanna know what like Hannibal's reaction would be if like Will started flirting with him. Like I wonder, do you think that Will at this point is like picking up on the fact that like Hannibal wants to flip him over and make him speak in tongues? Like, I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Perhaps we will find out in next week's episode. I will see you then.